That's true. That's that right. She said, Ben, one way, and yeah, I swear, get her wild. My little but that's no so. How are you as a freshman? Let's see. You were a dedicated student, you were always very cooperative, and um, when it came to you doing crew, you were dedicated and always trying to be part of the team and you work really hard. Um, as a student, uh, you were always striving to do better and you were proud of yourself. Whenever you had good grades, it was amazing because you would come home and you were really happy and it's something that we all enjoyed seeing because you were blossoming in mainland. Okay, crew experience with Sebastian. Um, it was, as a freshman, interesting because we had no idea what it was going to be like. And to see his first race and them winning was so cool. Although it's just like a minute <laughs> race, pretty it's a much. a lot of time for the yes. freshman year. It was six minutes to, for them to finish the race, seven minutes. Yes. And... Um, to see the dedication that all of these kids had and that they had to work as one person rowing that boat to be able to win a race. All the time invested in practice, all the time invested at the tent helping his parents to- I'm wearing the shirt right now, the cliff team. To see what it was like last year, which was so cool. Win after win after win and the work and effort that each one of them put in and that I saw that Sebastian was putting in. And the pasta parties here. And the pasta parties that we had here. To see the team be more like a family, yeah. being brothers, being sisters. Every grade, every boat. Every grade, every boat to have them here and to see just a smile in each of these kids' face to see Sebastian smile was, to see everybody. yes, to yeah. see that and creating all these memories was Amazing. When I first met Sebastian, we met in strings class. Uh, we immediately hit it off. He was a good friend from the start, you know. We started hanging out, you know, talking about sports, football, had a lot in common. To this day, he's still one of my best friends. Kind of ugly, but, you know, we get by. My bottom stays red up. No, I'm not on ride, but I'm all up on my channel. Just talk to your homie, she said we should be together. Gave me brand was so insane that I made her my header. If she ever call my phone, you know I got a debtor. But I like that girl so much, I wish I never met her. Hello. 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 So, Sebastian, as a freshman, um, he was really small, pretty ugly. Uh, his hair was literally atrocious. Um, but, uh, he started, um, you know, doing crew, and then, uh, he got bigger, and now he's a little bit more cool. <laughs> so, you know, when I first met Sebastian, I was kind of like, dang, this kid blows. He sucks. And, uh, figured out that I was right. You know, this kid, he's still awful. I don't even know why you're asking me about him. I hate Sebastian. I was listening to the song. You know, when I first met Sebastian, I was kind of like, dang, like, who is this guy? He's kind of like, he's a little weird, you know, a little funky. But, you know, that's all right. You know, I don't mind him. And, you know, as I've gotten to know him through the years in high school, I figured out, you know, he became a real good friend of mine. He's always been very nice to me, very polite. And I think he's so funny. I, you know, he's always got something to say, always smiling, always laughing. Great attitude. I think Sebastian's great. Go like. I know it hurts sometimes, but you'll get over it. You'll find another life to live. I swear that you'll get over it. But I know you're sad and tired. You got nothing left to give. Never would I ever thought freshman year that I would be the person that I am today. I'd like to thank all of my friends, family, and teacher for making me the person I am. I am so excited to see what my future holds now.